ഹലോ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഇന്ന് ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ പത്താം ക്ലാസ്സിൻ്റെ സെക്കൻഡ് ചാപ്റ്റർ കെമിസ്ട്രിയുടെ സെക്കൻഡ് ചാപ്റ്ററായ ഗ്യാസ് ലോസ് ആൻഡ് മോൾ കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് എന്നതിൻ്റെ ലേറ്റസ്റ്റ് എസ് ആണ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എക്സാമിൻ ദ ഡാറ്റ ഗിവൺ ഇൻ ദ ടേബിൾ ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ ആൻഡ് നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോളിക്യൂൾസ് ഓഫ് ദ ഗ്യാസ് ആർ കെപ്റ്റ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് Calculate P into V, which is the gas law related to this. So, we have three gas laws. One is Ball's law, Charles law, then Avogadro law. The thing, uh, the law related with P and V, that is P into V a constant, is Ball's law. So, we can answer this question. First question, calculate P into V. We can see in the table that... P into V, we are getting it as 8L. So, first uh, answer is 8L, ATM. Then second, which is the law? That is Boyle's law. P into V, a constant. Next question, analyze the situation given below and examine the gas law associated with it. We can expect such questions for the exam also. Examine the law like that. So first question, when an inflated balloon is immersed in water, its size decreases. So the answer is Avogadro law. What is Avogadro law? V is directly proportional to N. That is as V increases, number of particles also increases. Second, a balloon is being inflated. Then, inflated means here the relation is between P and V. That is P into V a constant. So, the law is Boyle's law. Certain data regarding various gases kept under the same conditions of temperature and pressure are given below. Complete the table. The table you have to complete. So, keep the text with you, textbook with you. so that you can refer nitrogen we are having 10l volume and uh, number of particle is x oxygen oxygen 5l volume you have to find the number of particles ammonia 10l you have to find the number of particles so you can easily find and here comes the completed table and the and uh, low low is number of particle means the low related to that is avogadro law next calculate the mass of 1012 liter carbon dioxide gas kept at sgp molecular mass is equal to 44 how many molecules of carbon dioxide are present in it very easy you have to first find the number of moles for finding the number of moles we have the formula volume of stp divided by 22.7 or we can say the mass given divided by 22.4 the mass is 112 divided by 22.4 we will get 5 mole mass is equal to mole into gmm so before finding mass you have to find gmm of carbon dioxide we have already studied gmm engena calculate cheyan pattum carbon dioxide inde 12 plus oxygen that is 16 aanu 16 aanu veriya pakshe o2 nu parayumbo 2 into 16 cheyanam അപ്പം ട്വൽവ് പ്ലസ് തേർട്ടി ടു ഇക്വൽ ഫോർട്ടി ഫോർ ഗ്രാം അവിടെ വരുന്നുണ്ട് ദെൻ മാസ് മാസ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ഫൈവ് മോൾ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു മോൾ ഇൻറ്റു ജി എം എം ഓഫ് കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർട്ടി ഫോർ ഗ്രാം അപ്പം ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ഗ്രാം വരും ദൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഹൗ മെനി മോളിക്യൂൾസ് ഓഫ് കാർബൺ ഡയോക്സൈഡ് ആർ പ്രസൻ്റ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് മോ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് മോളിക്യൂൾസ് ആണ് കാണുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ഓൾറെഡി മോൾ കണ്ടുവെച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഫൈവ് മോളാണ് ഇൻറ്റു അവഗാഡ്രോ നമ്പർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു സിക്സ് പോയിൻറ്റ് സീറോ ടു ടു ഇൻറ്റു ടെൻ റേസ് ടു ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ നെക്സ്റ്റ് 
Calculate the volume of 170 gram of ammonia at STP. Molecular mass is 17. Same. In the number of moles given mass divided by GMM. Given mass in the 170 gram divided by molecular mass that is 17. So 10 mole. Then volume of STP. Volume of STP is equal to mole into 22.4 L. 22.4 L you have to remember that constant. So 10 into 22.4 L is equal to 224 L. Next, find out the number of moles of molecules present in the samples given below. GMM of nitrogen, it is 28 gram, water 18 gram. So first question, 56 gram of nitrogen. Number of moles in the chain, given mass divided by GMM. Given mass 56 anna. GMM in the another 28 anna. Apa 56 divided by 28, 2 answer get up. Then next, number of mo, uh, mole molecules, 90 gram H2O. 90 gram H2O no varayimbo, H2 in the direct thunder in the 18 thunder in the mass at 90. Apa 90 by 18 that is 5. Next, the molecular mass of ammonia is 17. How much is the GMM of ammonia? Find out the number of molecule, moles of molecules present in 170 gram of ammonia. Calculate the number of ammonia molecules present in the above sample of ammonia. First, we have to find the GMM of ammonia. GMM of ammonia is nitrogen plus hydrogen nitrogen. Then nitrogen is 14, hydrogen nitrogen. On the moon and H3 and up 3 into 1, Apa 14 plus 3 into 1, that is 17 gram. Up a GMM of 17 gram equal to 1 GMM. Next, you have to find the number of moles. You know that how to find the number of moles? Given mass divided by GMM. Given mass of 170 gram of ammonia in the 170 divided by. GMM in the bar another first A part will convert to 17 and 170 divided by 17 that is equal to 10. Then number of molecules number and number of molecules is equal to in the chain of the given uh, sorry mole into Avogadro number. Mole in the bar another it is 10 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. Now, we have two types of questions. First, we have to use GMM. GMM is the same as nitrogen and hydrogen. We have to use individual items. We have to use GMM. The number of moles is the given mass divided by GMM. The number of molecules is the same as the number of moles. The number of moles is the number of molecules. Next, the molecules, the molecular mass of oxygen is 32. What is the GMM of oxygen? Again, but GMM of oxygen is 2 into 16. That is equal to 32 gram. If you look at the H2O, the oxygen is 2 into 16 is equal to 32 gram. Then next, how many moles of uh, molecules are present in 64 gram? Moles are under the given mass. That is 64 divided by molecular mass. 64 divided by 32 equal to 2. Number of moles, molecules are under the mole into Avogadro number. 2 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. See part calculate the number of oxygen atoms present in 64 gram of oxygen. Very easy. 64 gram of oxygen is the number of atoms is equal to number of molecules into number of atoms in one molecule. Now, we have oxygen. Oxygen is equal to oxygen. 2 into 6.02 2 into 10 raised to 23 into 2. That is equal to 4 into 6.02 into 10 raised to 23. Here comes the end of letters. This is part of uh, chapter 2. So, Thank you.